ఏదైతే ఏంది బలై మతం ఏదైతే ఏంది గతం ఏదైతే ఏంది అతుకుల బొంతలకి ఉంద బతుకులు తెల్లారు తుంటే అలాయి బలాయి అలాయి రేరే అలాయి బలాయి అలాయి ఓహో అలాయి బలాయి అలాయి రేరే అలాయి బలాయి అలాయి మీ హీరో ఎవరైతే ఎందిర అలాయి వారి స్టార్ అయితే ఎందిర బలాయి వారు తొడగొడితే మనకేందిర అలాయి వారు మెడకోకితే మనకేందిర బలాయి అలాయి బలాయి చేసుకుంటూ స్టార్లు దావత్లో ఉంటే ఈ దావత్ అనేది బలం అతనికి అర్థమవుతుంది లేదో ఈ స్టార్లు మంచిగా వాళ్ళలో వాళ్ళు పార్టీలు చేసుకుంటూ ఉంటారు కొట్టుకునేది మాత్రం కా సామాన్య ప్రజలు మాత్రమే వాళ్ళ పేర్లు చెప్పుకుని అందరూ కొట్టుకుంటారు వాళ్ళు మాత్రం పార్టీలు చేసుకుంటూ ఉంటారు అల్లయ్ బలే చేసుకుంటే స్టార్లు దావత్లో ఉంటే అభిమానం మత్తులోన ఏం దిన నీ లడాయి అల్లాయి బలాయి అల్లాయి వేరే అల్లాయి బలాయి అల్లాయి నీ లీడర్ ఎవడైతే ఏందిర అల్లాయి వాడి జాతేదైతే ఏందిర బలాయి నీ జెండా రంగేరే తెందల్లాయి వాళ్ళు రెచ్చగొడితే ఉరుకుడేంది బలాయి వాడి మోచేతి సారా దాగి వాడి మోచేతి సారా దాగి కోడి పుంజుల వోలే కొట్టుకుని జచ్చుడేంది చల్ అలాయి బలాయి అలాయి రేరే అలాయి బలాయి అలాయి మత పెద్దల మాట ఈయనకు అలాయి అందరి గురించి చెప్పట్లేదు ఎవరైతే నా మతమే గొప్పది అంటారో వేరే మతాలు లేవు లేకపోతే ఈ ఈ సామరస్యం లేని వాళ్ళ గురించి మాట్లాడే మాటది మత పెద్దల మాట ఈయనకు అలాయి వాళ్ళు మన మతమే గొప్పదంటారు బలాయి కుల పోళ్ళత చేర మాకు అలాయి వాడు కులమే మన బలం అంటాడు బలాయి కులము మతం వదిలి రారా తముడు కులము మతం వదిలి రార మనసారా అలుముకుందాం అలాయి బలాయి అలాయి రేరే అలాయి బలాయి అలాయి థ్యాంక్ యూ దట్స్ ద సాంగ్ absolutely central to us we all love stories right in fact we are the stories we hear right? and we don't quite realize the importance of stories um what what actually play in our that the, the role that they actually end up playing in our in our lives in fact the human mind is quite an interesting organ in the sense that 
more often than not, we don't actually always like truthful stories, even though they might want to tell us the truth. So if you think about Little Red Riding Hood, right? Uh, that's a European folk tale, uh, <coughs> set up I think somewhere in the 17th century or so. And it's about, you know, um, you know, what's the moral of that story? The moral of that story is, you know, you've got this big bad wolf um, and you've got a little girl. And the moral of the story is don't necessarily trust strangers. And that's a very simple story to tell, right? Don't trust strangers. But what we've done is that we've concocted this entire fiction, this fictional story around Little Red Riding Hood in order to convey the message, don't trust strangers. So I think in that a sense, the ability to use technology, technology like artificial intelligence, to help revive and amplify the impact of stories simply cannot be underestimated. The other thing that is absolutely fascinating uh, about this work is that it is set in a local context with local data, with a local solution intended originally or perhaps initially for local audience, but there's no reason why it can't actually expand beyond the local or the regional uh, area that it could be consumed in. The other fascinating thing about this is its sheer scalability. It starts in one place, right? It starts with Telugu, but given the expertise in building out the solution, it should not be too difficult to actually build an all India, an India scale solution across all Indian languages. And therein comes in a nice opportunity for innovation. Imagine somebody sitting in, <coughs> In, in, you know, eventually sitting in rural Haryana or in Delhi or in Punjab, wanting to listen to a Telugu story in their own local language. And combine that with the ability of putting images, you almost have a comic. And if you fast forward the comic and put some music behind it, you almost have a video, you almost have a movie. And this comes into play if and especially if we harness the power of networks and query. And to that end, while I've had personally had a long relationship with Swetcher and the others who have been working across technology uh, in general and more recently in artificial intelligence, um, then I'm absolutely delighted that I'll be playing, or hopefully intending to play, uh, a small role, some role or the other, while we aim to make this into a nationwide project uh, with collaboration from IIT Madras, where students and researchers at IIT Madras are most excited to actually contribute towards this project. So while it's a phenomenal start, <clears throat> we see this as only the beginning, um, uh, a great start to what eventually could actually turn into, or hopefully turn into uh, an excellent a uh, way of harnessing AI, in particular where we are using local context, local data, and local solutions. And this then provides an excellent way for us to move towards what could become a, a very nice example on what could constitute AI for India. Now, I should <coughs> I just mention one or two more things. Um, and then, you know, if there are any questions, I'll be happy to uh, sort of take them on. Um, you know, it does take a sort of, I mean, we've all heard that it takes a village to raise a child, right? Um, you know, bringing up a child is, is, is not an easy task. It requires an entire village. I think it's an African uh, saying that it requires an entire village to actually raise a child. Um, I think it's very well adapted to AI. I think it would probably take an entire village, so to speak, to raise AI. Right. And in this context, of course, the village will be um, the multiple stakeholders, uh, whether it's government, whether it is policy makers, whether it is academics, whether it is uh, technology companies, uh, and so on and so forth, to actually come together to raise what would be, or what could become AI for India. And in that, there are two very, very important elements that we have to work on. 
and work on together harnessing the power of networks and harnessing the power of technology. And I said uh, of, of collaboration, and as I said, we'll be working very closely uh, from IIT Madras with the Swetcha team to actually turn this into a pan India uh, solution. And then there we need two things. We need homegrown technologies so that we can get access to those technologies where we can train the next generation of technologists on technologies that have actually been homegrown. So that is absolutely critical, and this provides an absolutely wonderful example where that can take place. The second is skilling. Right. Um, and that's a space where we obviously need to, in order to not just build technology, but we need to have technology in the hands of as many people as they possibly can. And there, uh, we have already started on work uh, with Swetcha on uh, skilling people, the next generation of engineers on data structures, Python, algorithms, machine learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and so on and so forth. And in that circle, uh, I'm happy to actually say that the first set of internships by people who have been, uh, you know, initially been tested on their skill sets in data structures and algorithms and Python <coughs> will actually be joining the IIT Madras uh, Research Park uh, sometime this month, right? So in a sense, it becomes a whole ecosystem, right? You, you sort of, as I said, you, you need a village to actually build uh, AI. Uh, and luckily, we, we have the sort of required digital technologies as we're using this right now, where I'm sitting in you know, a couple of hundred miles away from, from all of you. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't, I, I couldn't actually be there, but I'm certainly very much there in, uh, in, in spirit. And we'd like to, while we build this as a particular, uh, very, very, very exciting use case, uh, simultaneously, if you wanted to build the next 10, 30, 100, 500, 1,000 use cases, <coughs> uh, then we actually really need a very large number of people uh, skilled uh, in this domain. Uh, fortunately, there's a lot of excitement amongst the students. Uh, we have already started conversations with TAS in Hyderabad. As I said, we have a long-standing relationship with Swetcha in this regard. Um, and we hope to take uh, all of these initiatives uh, forward. Uh, so I wouldn't want to come uh, too much in the way of your uh, celebrations. Uh, you know, phenomenally hard work, great work, innovative work done by the team. Kudos to all of them, and we really look forward to scaling this up and taking this to greater heights. I'm happy to uh, take a few questions if they were, uh, but I think I'll pause for now. Any, any questions? Can I ask a question? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, Richard, yeah. you have a question? Uh, you? I'll be happy to take it. Yeah, Gauru, uh, I have a simple question. Uh, uh, yes. How do you give the mic just beside you? Just take the mic so that everybody can hear the question. Can you hear me, Gauru? Gauru, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, your collective expertise uh, has, uh, is giving a very good food now. now. My question is, 